I'd like to talk about finding your notes on the fretboard. For many guitar players, the fretboard's kind of like this big map where nobody knows where anything is at. You know, um, we learn a lot of stuff by rote through tablature, through YouTube videos, people showing you where to put your hand, you know, this sort of thing. Um, or if you do know them, you know the notes on the fifth and sixth strings because those are the roots for your power chords or for your bar chords. What we're going to do is we're going to actually just talk about how notes are laid out, the specific order of them, and how to find them on the guitar fretboard. We're going to start off just by going through the open string names. The first string, and we count the first string from the floor, and then we go up. The first string is E. That's an E note when you play it open. The second string is a B. Third string is G. Fourth string is D. Fifth string is A. And then the sixth string is E. Notice that the first and sixth strings are both E, which actually makes this lesson a little bit easier because we really only have five strings to learn. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn the order of the notes on the piano keyboard first. It helps to have a different visualization uh, before we start trying to memorize things on the guitar and get bogged down in all the weirdness that is the guitar fretboard. If you look at the piano keyboard, you'll find that you have white keys and black keys. The white keys are all of the natural notes. That's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The black keys are the accidentals. Those are the sharps and flats. And we have an accidental between every pair of notes except for B and C and E and F. What that means for us on guitar is it becomes very easy to visualize the order of notes. If we start on the sixth string, which is E, and we go to the right or go up one note on the piano keyboard, that's F. And then if we go up one more key, you're on the black key above F. This is F sharp. Notice we're on the second fret already. Next note up would be G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Now if you look, there's no black key between B and C. So you go straight to C. C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Now, we've returned from the open string name, which is E, back to the note name E here at the 12th fret. That 12th fret is the octave marker. It becomes easy for you to remember, okay, well, if it's E on the 12th fret, or E when it's open, it's E on the 12th fret. Same with any of these strings. To better internalize your notes on the fretboard, uh, I'm going to give you a couple little mini exercises. Uh, there's going to be a link with this video, and the link's going to have some blank neck paper just the guitar fretboard up to the, I think the 15th or 14th fret. Um, and the idea is that you're going to work your way up each string, like I just did, call out the note name, and then write down the note name on the appropriate string on the, on the page. All right. So do that for each of the six strings. Just writing it out, actually taking the information and getting it out of your head onto the paper, one way to memorize this. Another thing that you can do is you can just start memorizing where the dots are on the fretboard. This is real simple, but you can just say, you know, um, on this string, I know that this is G, and then A, B, C sharp, and then E. You know, give yourself a couple landmarks and then filling in between. If you attack this a couple different ways, you'll start remembering this information a lot quicker.